The hum of a generator is a familiar sound in many parts of the world, a constant reminder of our reliance on fossil fuels and the fragility of power grids. But what if there was a generator that didn't depend on diesel, gasoline, or even sunlight to produce electricity? Maxwell Chikumbutso, a self-taught engineer from Zimbabwe, claims to have invented such a device, one that defies conventional physics and promises clean, limitless energy. His story begins in a small lab, where years of trial and error led to a breakthrough that could change how we think about energy forever. The journey from concept to reality has been anything but smooth, filled with skepticism, financial hurdles, and technical challenges. Yet, against all odds, Chikumbutso's generator is inching closer to commercialization, raising hopes for a future where energy scarcity is a thing of the past. This is the story of how an unassuming inventor dared to challenge the status quo and what lies ahead for his revolutionary technology. Maxwell Chikumbutso was not a name many in the scientific community recognized when he first introduced his generator to the world. Born and raised in Zimbabwe, a country plagued by frequent power outages, Chikumbutso grew up acutely aware of the limitations of traditional energy sources. His fascination with electronics began at an early age, tinkering with discarded radios and broken appliances to understand how they worked. Without formal engineering training, he relied on intuition, experimentation, and an unshakable belief in his ideas. By his mid-twenties, he had already developed several prototypes, each one bringing him closer to his ultimate goal, a self-sustaining generator. The concept itself was controversial, free energy devices have long been dismissed as pseudoscience, with many inventors before him failing to deliver on their promises. But Chikambutso was undeterred, convinced that his approach was different. His early prototypes, though crude, showed enough promise to attract local attention. Videos of his devices powering lights and small appliances without any apparent fuel source began circulating online, sparking both excitement and skepticism. Critics dismissed his claims, arguing that perpetual motion machines were impossible under the known laws of thermodynamics. Supporters, however, saw a glimmer of hope, a potential solution to energy poverty in developing nations. Chikambutso's persistence paid off when he secured funding from private investors willing to take a chance on his vision. With better resources, he refined his design, moving from makeshift workshops to a proper lab where rigorous testing could be conducted. The core of his invention, he explained, was not a violation of physics but a reimagining of how energy could be harnessed from the environment. Unlike solar or wind power, which depend on specific weather conditions, his generator allegedly tapped into electromagnetic fields present everywhere. Early demonstrations showed the device running continuously for days, even weeks, without any noticeable depletion in performance. Independent verification, however, remained a sticking point. Without peer-reviewed studies, the scientific community remained skeptical. Still, the potential applications were too significant to ignore, especially in regions where electricity was unreliable or prohibitively expensive. Governments and private companies began expressing interest, eager to explore whether Chikumbutso's claims held up under scrutiny. Pilot projects were launched in select locations, with the generator being tested in real-world conditions. The results, according to initial reports, were promising, consistent power output with minimal maintenance required. If scaled successfully, the technology could reduce dependence on fossil fuels, lower energy costs, and provide electricity to remote communities. But the path from prototype to mass production is fraught with obstacles, from regulatory approvals to manufacturing challenges. Chikumbutso's team has been working tirelessly to address these hurdles, refining the design for durability and efficiency. Each iteration brings improvements, but also new questions about how the technology functions at a fundamental level. Skeptics continue to demand transparent, third-party testing to validate the generator's capabilities. Until then, the debate over its legitimacy will persist, overshadowing its potential benefits. Yet, for those who have witnessed the generator in action, the impact is undeniable. In rural clinics, where power outages can mean life or death, Chikambutso's device has kept critical equipment running. In schools, children no longer study by candlelight, thanks to a reliable source of electricity. These small but meaningful successes hint at a larger transformation if the technology proves viable on a global scale.
The road ahead is uncertain. But one thing is clear, Maxwell Chikumbutso's generator has already sparked a conversation about the future of energy. Whether it becomes a mainstream solution or remains a controversial footnote in engineering history depends on what happens next. For now, the world watches and waits, wondering if this invention will live up to its extraordinary promise. The debate over Chikumbutso's generator is far from settled with supporters and skeptics locked in a battle of belief versus evidence. As the technology moves closer to commercialization, the stakes grow higher. Success could redefine global energy systems, while failure may reinforce skepticism toward unconventional inventions. One of the biggest challenges facing the generator is the lack of publicly available scientific data explaining its inner workings. Chikambutso has been cautious about revealing too much citing intellectual property concerns and the risk of industrial espionage. This secrecy, while understandable, has fueled doubts among physicists and engineers who demand transparent, reproducible experiments. Without peer-reviewed validation, mainstream adoption remains an uphill battle, no matter how compelling the demonstrations appear. Yet, in countries with unreliable power grids, the demand for alternative solutions is strong enough to bypass traditional skepticism. Several African nations have expressed interest in piloting the technology, eager to reduce their dependence on expensive fuel imports. If these trials succeed, the generator could leapfrog existing infrastructure, much like mobile phones bypass landlines in developing regions. The economic implications are staggering cheaper, decentralized energy could spur industrial growth, improve education, and raise living standards. But scaling production presents its own set of challenges from sourcing materials to ensuring quality control in manufacturing. Chikumbutso's team has reportedly partnered with engineering firms to refine the design for mass production, though details remain scarce. Even if the technical hurdles are overcome, regulatory barriers loom large, particularly in Western markets with strict energy standards. Governments and utility companies, deeply invested in existing power infrastructures, may resist a disruptive technology that undermines their dominance. The fossil fuel industry, in particular, has a history of suppressing competing innovations that threaten profitability. Chikambutso is aware of these obstacles and has sought alliances with green energy advocates to position his invention as part of the renewable revolution. By framing the generator as a complement to solar and wind, rather than a replacement, he may find more acceptance in policy circles. Meanwhile, Grassroots interest continues to grow, with crowdfunding campaigns and community-led initiatives testing small-scale deployments. In off-grid villages, where energy poverty stifles development, even an imperfect solution is better than no solution at all. Early adopters report significant savings on energy costs, though long-term reliability data is still being collected. Maintenance and repair networks will be crucial, Unlike traditional generators, Chikumbutso's device lacks a standardized support system. Training local technicians to service the units could create jobs while ensuring sustainability in remote areas. The environmental impact, if the generator works as claimed, could be transformative, slashing carbon emissions from diesel generators worldwide. But until independent studies confirm its efficiency and safety, large-scale investors may remain hesitant. The scientific community's reluctance to engage with Chikumbutso's claims highlights a broader issue. How innovation is validated in a system biased toward institutional credentials. Without a PhD or corporate backing, outsider inventors often struggle to gain legitimacy, regardless of their breakthroughs. This gatekeeping dynamic has slowed progress in energy technology before, with revolutionary ideas dismissed prematurely. History is filled with examples of impossible inventions that later became mainstream. Microwaves, radio waves, and even electricity itself were once met with disbelief. Could Chikambutso's generator follow the same path, eventually forcing academia and industry to take notice? The answer depends on whether the technology can withstand rigorous, unbiased testing in the coming years. For now, the most compelling evidence comes from the communities already using the generator, where lives are being tangibly improved. If these success stories multiply, skepticism may give way to curiosity, then acceptance, and finally demand. The ultimate test will be market viability. Can the generator compete on cost, reliability, and scalability with existing energy sources? 
Shikambutso's vision extends beyond just powering homes. He imagines industrial applications, electric vehicles, and even aerospace uses. Such ambitions may seem far-fetched today, but every transformative technology began as a fringe. Idea. The coming decade will determine whether this invention fades into obscurity or sparks a global energy revolution. Regardless of the outcome, Chikumbutso's story challenges us to rethink what's possible in energy innovation. It reminds us that breakthroughs often come from unexpected places, driven by individuals willing to question entrenched norms. As the world grapples with climate change and energy inequality, perhaps the solution lies not in incremental improvements but in radical reimagination. Whether Chikumbutso's generator succeeds or fails, its journey from lab to marketplace is a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring quest for a better future. The final chapter of this story has yet to be written, but one thing is certain, the world is watching. The story of Maxwell Chikumbutso's generator does not end with a neat conclusion. It lingers in the space between skepticism and hope, between what science says is possible and what visionaries insist can be achieved. This tension is where all great innovations begin, in the uncharted territory where theory collides with stubborn persistence. For every critic who dismisses the generator as another overhyped perpetual motion machine, there is a family in a remote village whose lights now stay on through the night. For every physicist demanding peer-reviewed proof, there is an entrepreneur investing in the technology, betting that the world's energy crisis demands radical solutions. The truth, as always, likely lies somewhere in the middle, not as miraculous as the most fervent believers claim, nor as impossible as the staunchest skeptics insist. What cannot be denied is that Chikumbutso's journey exposes the flaws in how the world evaluates breakthrough technologies. The scientific establishment, for all its rigor, often moves too slowly for urgent global challenges, gatekeeping progress behind academic credentials and institutional approval. Meanwhile, the desperation for energy solutions in developing nations creates fertile ground for unproven but promising ideas to take root before formal validation. This disconnect between institutional caution and real-world necessity is why Chikumbutso's generator continues to spark debate rather than resolution. History offers countless examples of inventions initially mocked before becoming indispensable. Trains were once believed to suffocate passengers at high speeds, and smartphones were dismissed as unnecessary luxuries. The difference today is the speed at which information spreads, amplifying both hype and backlash before thorough testing can occur. Chikumbutso's greatest challenge may not be the laws of physics but the court of public opinion, where narratives harden before evidence can be fully gathered. Yet, the communities already using his generator care little for theoretical debates. They measure progress in practical terms. Children studying after sunset, clinics refrigerating vaccines, businesses staying open past dark. These small victories hint at a larger truth. Sometimes, innovation serves immediate needs long before it wins universal acceptance. The generator's fate now hinges on a critical phase, independent replication and scalable deployment. Without third-party verification, it will remain trapped in the realm of controversy, unable to attract the investment needed for mass production. But if even one credible laboratory confirms its functionality, the momentum could shift overnight, forcing the scientific community to revisit long-held assumptions. This is the inflection point where many revolutionary inventions either break through or fade away. The parallels to past energy pioneers are striking. Nikola Tesla's wireless power experiments were once deemed fantastical, yet today wireless charging is commonplace. The difference is that Tesla worked within recognized physics, while Chikumbutso's claims, if true, would require expanding our understanding of electromagnetism. That possibility alone should give pause before outright dismissal. Science advances by confronting anomalies, not ignoring them. Perhaps the most compelling aspect of this story is not the generator itself, but what it reveals about humanity's relationship with energy. We cling to familiar systems even as they fail us, resisting change until necessity forces our hand. Climate change and energy poverty are such necessities, demanding solutions that may not fit neatly into existing paradigms. Chikumbutso's generator, whether fully valid or not, represents the kind of audacious thinking these crises require. Its ultimate legacy may be less about the device itself and more about inspiring others to challenge the boundaries of what's possible. 
Already, young engineers across Africa and beyond are watching this saga unfold, learning that innovation doesn't require permission from established institutions. That cultural shift, the democratization of invention, could have longer-lasting impacts than any single technology. The world waits for definitive answers. The generator continues its quiet revolution in the places where need outweighs doubt. Each day it operates successfully in the field adds another data point, another thread in the tapestry of evidence. The complete picture remains unfinished, but the pattern emerging suggests that dismissing Chikambutso's work outright would be premature. Science progresses not by defending old truths, but by exploring new possibilities, no matter how improbable they seem. Whether this particular invention succeeds or fails, it has already accomplished something rare. It has made us question what we know about energy, and in that questioning lies the seed of progress. The end of this story hasn't been written yet, but the pen is in the hands of those willing to test, to learn, and above all, to imagine. That, perhaps, is the most powerful energy of all.